Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a great day. So today's video is going to be our tried and true day in the life with me. Um, I'll take you through what it's like to be a UX designer working in tech. I'll show you what I get up to, the meetings I've got going on, the work that I actually have to get done. Um, yeah, you guys know the drill. You've been here before, you know what's up. Um, but if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. We are so close to 1K, guys. So please, please, please subscribe. If you like the content and if you're enjoying look into UX, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I do want to do a like 1K Q&A with you guys. So once we get to that number, I'll answer all of your burning UX questions. So yeah. Okay. Um, I think that was all my housekeeping. Let's get into the video. I'm just looking at my calendar today and I do have a little bit more block of time um, to actually design today. Yesterday, guys, I had six meetings, six meetings, and four of them were back to back to back to back. So meetings are great. They do take a lot of brain power though. You learn a lot, but they're kind of draining. And once the meetings are done, the work actually has to get done. Like the work that you guys are discussing needs to actually happen. So that is what I'm gonna be spending the bulk of my day. I've got a couple meetings. I had one earlier, that one later in the afternoon, but the bulk of my day is gonna be spent um, picking up some design changes, being in Figma. I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but just trying to give you a rundown. Yes, so had two, one of them being the PE in Classroom Pod. I feel like does a really good job of communicating with the devs early and often, kind of compared to the integrations pod, which is helpful because when you're like presenting your design, you're not having to like defend why it's good. Like they understand how you got to the solution. They worked with you on like ideas. So I thought that was really helpful. because we're still deciding whether we're gonna go with like two different providers. And I know we wanted to like get started on discovery items before the end of the year. Um, and it's like the second week of December. So I'm like, I don't know how that's gonna look like. And if Q1 is gonna be even more of a crunch cause we're not sure who we're gonna go with. So kind of. wireframing or picking up um, changes to some wireframes that I did um, and I can't really I sh can't really show you guys that because proprietary information I'm not trying to get sued um, but I can kind of just explain like the process and like what it is and so pretty much a wireframe is it could be a sketch it could be on a napkin um, it can be in Figma it's really just like getting your ideas down on paper um, a few videos ago I did like <laughs> I showed you guys my sketch um, and pretty much it's like trying to understand the heuristic analysis, the spacing, the layout. Um, there's no colors involved right now because you just want to focus on making sure that the UI basics are kind of squared away properly. So how do you know to start wireframing? Um, I usually always do that first. Like I put my um, ideas on pen and paper. Like. I don't know if it's the interior designer in me still, but I put all of my ideas, like hand sketch them into my big sketchbook here. Um, and then from there is when I like look at my sketches and then start to translate them into digital, into Figma. Um, I usually, if it's a small, small project, like a minor change, I go straight to like a high fidelity, but that's usually pretty rare, um, especially if there's a lot of like parts. So 90% of the time, maybe like 80% of the time I'm doing a wireframe, a low fidelity wireframe. And if it's like a net new feature, I like to go um, and get some inspiration on what I'm gonna be designing, kind of best practices. And I will actually pop over to my screen really quick and show you guys um, on Figma, the community page is like amazing. Well, okay. Most of the stuff is amazing. People can just put their own like work on there. So most of the time, if somebody's, you know, putting their stuff on Figma community board, like they're, you know, pretty seasoned, but some of the stuff can be a little 
crappy it can be a little bit finicky so you know make sure you pick the right stuff but i'll kind of show you what i look for if i'm just trying to get inspiration so when you're in figma you go over here and you select this little like world globe icon um by the way a few guys have asked like what do i use for my like screen recording um this is this company called loom um i'll drop a link below not an ad not sponsored but if they'd like to that'd be awesome i think it's great because obviously you can like share your recording but then you can also like you're still like in the video like i can move myself around so it's nice to kind of still be involved so this is the community board and let's say what am i designing guys i'm gonna be designing let's say a landing page so i will go you can either click web and it's gonna kind of show you all kinds of things um but if you want to get more specific which i usually like to do i will type in landing page and I'm gonna see all kinds of options that other people have created. Um, and I'm not 100% sure like what the kind of, if there's licensing around this stuff, but like don't ever like take one of these and like copy it and like misrepresent it as your own. Please do not do that. I'm saying do not do that. Like I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble here. I only use this for inspiration. Um, okay, so I'm gonna scroll until I see something that I like hit so let's click this um okay so you're gonna like see this information you're gonna see like a little blurb from the person that created it um okay and then what i usually do is i just hit make a, get a copy and once you hit make a copy it'll open up in a new figma file and then there'll be different pages and so specifically this one is going to be the design uh, my little like loom thing is right here okay okay so and then you can kind of just see like how this person created it like you can see that this is like an image that they brought in um this is some text all of that so this is just like a great this is very simple but this is like a great starting off point if you're just like okay i need inspiration for landing pages like what are some ones that i like and why do i like it so this is a great place to start um if you're just coming to if you need that initial inspiration now i showed you guys like some inspiration i'm gonna now go and create let's say a landing page i got the inspiration that i needed let's say i'm creating a landing page for a I don't know guys let's say i'm creating a landing page for a real estate website i kind of got some inspiration from the community board let me just whip something up and i'll kind of show you guys the process okay guys i just finished um whipping up the fake real estate landing page website so let me show you guys really quick what i came up with and kind of just talk you through what i did um okay and i'll just walk you through this quickly so this is my wireframe and like i mentioned there are no colors other than black white and gray um i didn't really mess too much with the font i did mess around a little bit with like larger pills here um cta button styles like those are the things that i really want to tweak so that's why i kind of focused on that and yeah let me just kind of run through this really quick you really want to keep it simple this signifies a logo um these are different button styles and while you're looking at this you can start to notice like things that are not aligned like this search button here needs to line up these two buttons you want those to line up what's left align actually let's center align those okay so you start to notice little things like that when you're devoid of like color and anything that's going to be distracting um like here i'm noticing this is a pretty large um gap so i'm gonna adjust this a little bit so yeah this just kind of signifies there's going to be an image here image of listings some kind of blurb down below and then here's going to be more um, like this button could be bigger so 
you really want to keep it simple and quick just because this is one idea. I'm not married to this idea. I'm probably going to create two or three more ideas minimum, but at least you got whatever idea was kind of like percolating in your brain. At least you got that down on paper or digital in this case. Now I'm going to spend probably the rest of the afternoon doing like my actual design work, my actual Figma. Um, can't show you that, but just know that's what I'm doing over here. And yeah, that's pretty much the bulk of my day. I've got one more meeting towards the end of the, towards the, end of the day where we're going to be doing some journey mapping stuff. Um, maybe I can get some clips of that. And yeah, guys, that is the bulk of the day. So let's get back to work. The last, um, the second week of December, and I know we're phasing out of Envision at the end of the year. So I just wanted to check with you, like, is there anything that needs to get moved over, whether it's screenshots, um, just so we don't lose anything when we get that cut off. Hey okay, friends, that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was insightful. I love taking you guys with me through my day. So if you did like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're so close to 1K. Um, just really helps out the channel and it helps me know that you guys want to see more of this content from me. So that is it, guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.